What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we're continuing with the RPE series and in this episode we'll finally begin creating the open world. So we will create a new blank level, we'll add our landscape, we will proceed at our desert dunes and lastly we'll import a quick soul mass cans desert material and add it into our landscape as we are being you know inspired from Assassin's Creed Origins. It's gonna be a very easy view to follow so let's get started. <laughs> So the first thing that we have to do is create a new blank level. In this case, let's go up into file, new level, and then we can pick a template. In this case, let's just choose basic because it will just contain the lighting that we need, right? The direction of light, height fog, sky, etc. Perfect. So I just hit create. All right, so now we have our level created. What we need to do is select the floor and just press delete because of course we will not be using a floor, we'll create our own landscape. So let's save this new level. So just press Ctrl Shift S and what we're going to do is go to the content folder, just right click at any point, new folder, and let's name this levels. Now let's open up this folder and what I'm going to do is rename this level to be something as just desert. Let's hit enter and now it has been renamed to desert as you can see. Also, let's go into the world settings that if you don't see in any of this windows, you can just go up into window and just open up world settings and let's set the game mode. In this case, the game mode will just simply be the third person game mode that we have been using all the time. Go ahead and save, go back to details and now let's create a new landscape. So to create a new landscape, what we have to do is go up here into the selection mode and just click landscape. And now we will have the options to create a new landscape again. See. We can preview a bit of the scale of it and so on. So we definitely want to make this a bit bigger as we're pretty much building an open world. So what we can do is go into the section size and I'm gonna go a bit crazy and go into 255 by 255 and now we have a massive open world that we can work on. Now very important, make sure that enable edit layers is ticked on because the landmass plugin, which is the one that will proceedly add the desert dunes, will make use of this. So make sure to take it. With that said, we can leave the material empty, we'll fill it in later, and we can just have the default uh, values and just hit create. All right, so now we have the landscape created. As you can see, if we go back into the selection mode, we can just save our level, very important, and we can just select the player start and just pop it a bit up, press and on our keyboard it will snap into the surface and then we press play so you can see we can play in our brand new landscape and level but of course it is very boring right there's nothing so we will need to start to add the desert dunes so let's go ahead and do that so for that we will need a plugin which is called the landmass plugin i don't know if you have already used it but it's very very handy to make well landscapes so let's go up into edit and open up the plugins window Let's go ahead and you search for landmass like this and you will see this in beta. It's okay. You have used it a lot. It is awesome. So just go ahead and just tick it. Say yes, it's in beta. I know. And then the only thing left to do will be to restart the editor. So let's click this button over here. Okay, so the editor has restarted. As you can see if now if I search for the landmass plugin, it indeed is enabled. So let's close this window and let's open back our desert level. So let's go into our levels folder and open up desert. Okay, so now what we need to do is go back into the landscape mode up here, landscape. And now what we need to do is go into the sculpting tab. And what we can do is instead of manually sculpt, you know, our dunes or whatever you want, right? That will not be very convenient for this big level. We can make use of our new plugin. So we can just go into the blueprint section and we can add a blueprint brush. In this case, with the landmass, we have three different options. We have the custom brush for landmass, which we can add like mountains and so on with the splines. It is very handy for rivers and then the material only. And this is the one that we want because we can basically add a noise material across the whole landscape. And this noise material will act as our dunes. So let's go ahead and select this. And now we just need to click at any point in our landscape. So for example, just here. And you see that it will start to generate some bumps. Now, they look awful. They look like literally from, you know, clay. And it is only into this uh, distance, right? This is because we have to change our brush. 
So you will see that a new custom brush has been added into our level. Well, let's go ahead and select this, go down into the details panel, go and open up the material properties, and we can change the brush material. Now, the one that we want is going to be under noise, and you will see that we have a whole bunch of them. Now, you may not see this, and that's because you have to enable the engine and plugin content. So make sure to click this icon here, and then select show engine content, and show plugin content. This is very important to see all this. All right, so now with that, you should be able to see all this. And if we scroll a bit up under, you know, search and noise, you will see that we have a few options as Gen Noise 1 and uh, Gen Noise Cup and Veroni. So for example, let's select, select this one, Gen Noise 0 to Veroni. And you can see that it will not really make any differences. It has added some bumps, but it's not very noticeable because it's barely, well, you know, without an elevation. So let's go into the elevation scale and put this up onto maybe 5,000. And now if we go up, you can see that we start to get some bumps. It's still not very noticeable, but we are getting it somewhere. So let's maybe put this a bit higher, maybe around 7,000. And you see that now we do start to get more bumps across the level and the distance. Maybe we even need a bit more. Let's go ahead and just put this to 10,000. And now we do start to get some more things. Another thing that we can change is the octaves. If we are going to put this on two, you can see that now we get more kind of linear uh, dunes, right? Maybe we want to play a bit with that. If we put it to five, I think that is a pretty good point where you get the markings of like sand, right? But not so uh, harsh or so smooth. So maybe I think that five will be a good point. And the cool thing is that at any moment, we can go and touch the values of this material once again a bit later. So let's go ahead and go back to our selection mode. Go ahead and save. And don't worry if you see artifacts every so often. It's just the uh, landscape like loading, okay? They will disappear slowly, okay? This is a very uh, common issue. And what we need to do now is go ahead and add our mega scans material, okay? But first of all, let's select our play start and let's just crank it up because right now it's basically under the map, which is not what we want. So let's go ahead and just put it up. Let's hit end on your keyboard and it will snap it to the ground or you can just manually drop it. And now if I press play, you can see that we are in this massive open world. But of course, it doesn't look good because, well, we don't have the landscape material and our fog is filling out the edge. So let's go ahead and do so. Let's go ahead and save everything and go up into window and open up Quixel Bridge to import the Quixel Mega Scans material. So first of all, make sure to log in with your Epic Games account. And once you're logged in, what we can do is go and search for sand. Now you'll see that there will be a lot of different options that we can choose for our sand. But I specifically found a cool one that we can use. I can see there are a lot of them which is if we add the word bright you will find it which is this uh, bright desert sand and this is the one that i want to use so once you select this you can just specify which quality you want in my case let's go ahead and go with the highest quality and just hit download in my case i have already downloaded but just hit it and once it has complete loading just go ahead and click add and it might like freeze your window for a few seconds that is that you know it is important so you just wait until it goes back to business, right? Until we can select again the UI, that's because it's loading and the material should be imported. So let's wait a few seconds. All right, so now I can go ahead and interact again with the UI and as you can see we have the material and it has already automatically opened up. If you don't see, just click add again, but it should work. Anyway, so now we have our landscape material over here with you know the material instance and the three textures that we need. So now if we select the landscape and go down into the landscape material option, we can just drag it in and you'll see that it will appear in across the landscape. And if we press play, now it looks way better. But still, the thing is that it is very um, tiny. We cannot really see the grains and it does look more like a simple plain color. So let's change the tiling of this. So let's double click on the material instance and let's go ahead and just put this up. Click on tiling at the top. I'm gonna change this on X and Y. In my case, I think that 0.3 will work very good. It will just make the texture bigger and we can see a bit more 
our grain of salt and so on. As you can see, it looks way better. Great. Another thing to do is change a bit the albedo. So we can go into albedo and just change a bit the color. We can make it a bit more uh, yellowish and reddish, right? Instead of being so um, bright. So you can play with that and get some values that you like, right? We can even change it on here. All right. So just play around a bit with that. All right. So with that said, now we can just go ahead and play a bit with the lighting and so on. Now, of course, we will dedicate more episodes for our desert, but this is just the basic setup. So now if I hold control and press L one time, while still holding control, I have this option to change the lighting. As you can see, if I place my sun in this specific angle, you will see that it will completely change our level and it will just make it look so much better and looking more like an actual desert which looks really really cool as you can see now don't worry about the veroni um lines will tune in better in the in the next episode but we can maybe change a bit the octaves so maybe six and it will add more details or even seven right more little bumps how you prefer um, but i think that five will work pretty good and you can also change the tiling instead of maybe 25 this point one or the other way around point five right to have more little things uh, or even point three i think that point three might look pretty cool um maybe point two seven will make it interesting so we'll play with this and also don't worry about the straight edges we'll adjust that in the next episode so it looks a bit better but let's go and select the exponential height fog and let's touch something that is very important if you go down you will see this volumetric fog tick let's go ahead and enable this and this will change the scene now it's not very noticeable at first but when you start to play with the fog it will be actually very noticeable now what we can do is change the fog density so let's increase this to the max and then the fall off let's go ahead and decrease this to around yeah this value it will just make it more foggy and with that said you can also touch more things on the extinction scale to make it more foggy so we can increase this to 2.5 right and the view distance we can keep it like this but overall i think this will make our environment look way nicer and what i'm going to do is also just put my player to start a bit more on the edge here because he's just kind of needing to go up this mountain so let me just move it a bit up and i will start a bit more in the height great so this looks pretty cool now let's just touch a bit of the um post processing so let's go up into quickly add to the bright go into visual effects and just drag a post process volume into our level let's go ahead and just uh, make the location uh reset so we have the zero 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 and now to make this um post process effect affect the whole level and not just this bound we can just take the infinite extent unbound option and this will just affect the whole level instead of that area and now what i'm going to do is change the exposure so the minimum and maximum i'm going to keep it from a range from around minus 5 to 10 so we have been more uh, controlled basically and another thing I'm going to do is go a bit down into the color grading open up global and take saturation and contrast in saturation let me put this to 1.1 and then on contrast again on 1.1 and we'll just make things a bit more pop and it looks pretty damn cool as you can see i love how this is looking so yeah guys that's it for this episode if you found it interesting i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel remember that the project files will be available in my patreon and youtube members so check them out and in the next episode we'll continue building our open world so join the discord server follow me on my socials and now yes we'll have said bye bye